hi hello namaste my dear friends and students how are you i hope you are fine today i came with a new trick and a new video today i want to discuss with you locus super speed vip questions sixth part vip bole to very important previous question i am very happy to say you already i have uploaded super speed vip questions five parts from locus chapter in our youtube channel aims get to success please go through those all questions listen carefully learn carefully 100% sure success solution will come to you automatically today our question is find the equation of the locus of a point p if the line segment joining a to comma 3 and b minus 1 comma 5 subtend a right angle at p highly demanded question from the students aims day to success solution aims day to success meek entha undaga mathematics ante bayam enduku dandaga i am here why do you fear don't worry my dear students now my name is krishna reddy founder of aparnika reddy institute of mathematics and sciences aims day to success made in india aims day to success is not an institution it is a free service to serve you through youtube channel whatsapp telegram facebook like all india level study information books videos free of cost so my dear students please go through those all information now i will start uh, a question find the equation of the locus of a point p if the line segment joining two points subtend a right angle so we can see right angled means uh, draw a right angle triangle at p so p x comma y and uh, whose ends of the hypotenuse are line segment means whose ends of the hypotenuse are a is 2 comma 3 and b is minus 1 comma 5 here you can assume you can assume let p x comma y be any point on the locus we can assume this p x comma y in every problem in the locus chapter now <coughs> right angled means from the 10th class you can use one pythagoras theorem concept side square plus side square equals to hypotenuse square very easy concept it is from 10th class only side square plus side square is equals to hypotenuse square now side square is pa square plus another side square is pb square equals to hypotenuse square is ab square very easy concept now we can use the distance between two points formula that is ab square the distance between two points formula x1 y1 x2 y2 is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square here a value is 2 comma 3 b value is minus 1 comma 5 it is x2 y2 it is x1 y1 as your wish b x2 y2 a x1 y1 also you can write it now substituting formula ab square is equals to x2 value 2 minus x1 value is minus 1 whole square plus y2 value 3 minus y1 value 5 whole square this is equals to 2 minus into minus plus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 5 chota number minus bada number negative symbol reverse 5 minus 3 2 whole square so 3 minus 5 is minus 2 whole square 
this is equals to 2 plus 1 3 square plus minus to the power even number will become a positive symbol 2 square 3 3 is 9 plus 2 2 is 4 9 plus 4 is 30 now we can take a p a square and p b square individually now i am taking p a square p is x comma y and a is 2 comma 3 this is x2 y2 x1 y1 <coughs> p a square again distance formula you don't worry my dear students i can write formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so x2 value x minus x1 value 2 whole square plus y2 value y minus y1 value 3 whole square this is in the form of a minus b whole square is equals to a square plus b square minus 2ab so this is equals to x square plus 2 square minus 2 into x into 2 according to a minus b whole square formula plus y minus 3 whole square is also in the form of a minus b whole square here a value is y b value is 3 so you can substitute we get it y square plus 3 square minus 2 into y into 3 so this uh, simplification value after that x square plus 2 square is 4 minus 2 2 is 4 into x 4x plus y square plus 3 square is 9 minus 2 3 is 6 y so p a square value is x square plus right serial y square minus 4x minus 6 y 4 plus 9 is 13 it is a p square value next we can find a p b square value p is x comma y and b is minus 1 comma 5 it is x1 y1 and p x comma y is x2 y2 next we can find a p b square again you can use a distance formula you don't worry my dear students i can write it x2 minus x1 whole square minus y2 minus y1 whole square is a distance formula x2 is x minus x1 is minus 1 whole square plus y2 is y minus y1 is 5 whole square so this can be written as x minus into minus plus 1 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square <coughs> here we can use uh, two formulas number one a plus b whole square is a square plus b square plus 2ab and uh, another one is a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab very easy formulas from 10th class so you can substitute First, uh, x plus 1 whole square is in the form of a plus b whole square. Here a is x, b is 1. So, substitute x square plus 1 square plus 2 into x into 1. Plus y minus 5 whole square is in the form of a minus b whole square. Here a is y, b is 5. So, substitute and simplify. We get y square plus 5 square minus 2 into y into 5. So this is equal to x square plus 1 square is 1 plus 2 into 1 2x plus y square plus 5 5 is 25 minus 2 5 is 10 y and uh, write serial pb square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2x minus 10 y 25 plus 1 is 26 according to our question we are having a p a square plus p b square is equals to a b square p a square value is x square plus y square minus 4x minus 6y plus 13 <coughs> next 
plus pb square value is x square plus y square plus 2x minus 10y plus 26 is equals to ab square ab square value is 13 left side 13 right side 13 cancellation completed next x square plus x square two bar x is two x square plus y square plus y square two bar two y square next to x terms two x minus four x chota number minus bada number negative symbol atta. take reverse four minus two two x so two x minus four x is minus two x next to y values minus 6y minus 10y is uh, minus 16y and you can take a uh, constant term only one term that is 26 equal to 0 if you want to leave it you can leave it otherwise if you want to take a uh, common 2 is common okay after taking 2 the remaining value is x square plus y square minus x minus 2 is 16y plus 2 13 yeah, 26 is equals to 0 2 is coming into right side <coughs> you will get 0 by 2 is 0 therefore x square plus y square minus x minus 8y plus 13 is equals to 0 is uh, the equation of the locus I hope you understand my dear students. If you satisfy with my explanation, please subscribe our channel Aims Day to Success. Support with us, share to your friends, like and comment to this video. If you wanted to get like this type of or different type of mathematics questions from intermediate level, so many playlists are there from topic wise, chapter wise, subject wise in the playlist they are in the description box this description box is in below of this video please go through those all questions vip questions i promise you 100 percent you will get sure success a friend in need a friend in need practice makes man's perfect practice keeps a student top level Study is one of the part in your life. So my dear students, please don't neglect studies in your life. A friend in need, a friend in need. A padlo adu kuneva de nizame nisne hitu do. Pradhi chappe dol karna science jese chetle minna. Without pain you cannot gain. Without learn you cannot earn. So my dear students, please learn carefully, listen carefully. Success solution will come to you automatically. I wish you all the very best, my dear students. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.